What up, y'all? How's it going? Ben Dean here, and today I'm going to be eating some more Tex-Mex or Korean-style Tex-Mex, whatever you want to call it. Today I'm eating a burrito bowl, and I also got a bunch of chips, tortilla chips as well. I got this delivered from a place called Dos Tacos, and it's very pricey, especially when it came and I saw the amount. I was just kind of flabbergasted, but this came out to about $18 for the side of chips, and this burrito bowl, uh, I feel like I could eat this in one bite, but... Maybe just because I'm comparing it to my video that I did yesterday of the spaghetti, which was massive. I don't know, but like the chips are definitely looking more impressive than this little bowl. Uh, let me show you a close-up real quick. So here's what we're working with. It does look really good. I got the chicken burrito bowl, so it looks like it has chicken, rice, uh, jalapenos, some lettuce, corn, maybe some sour cream and other stuff. Um, it also came with a side of chipotle sauce. And here are the chips. I did taste them and they are really fresh and nice. And here's another thing that you might not believe. I've never had a burrito bowl before ever. I know it's kind of like a trendy thing with all these places like uh, Chipotle or Moe's or what do you call it? Qdoba? Qdoba? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I never really went to those kind of restaurants very often. And because they weren't really, uh, they didn't have a lot of those places where I lived. So yeah, I just never had a chance to eat a burrito bowl. And I'm guessing it's like uh, everything inside a burrito stuffed into a bowl instead of um, a tortilla, but hey, let's try it out. All right. I'm just gonna go without any sauce or anything first. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you what though. That is amazing. I just love this kind of food, so. Mm. I think one of the best benefits of this kind of setup though, is you can take these chips and use this as kind of like a dip. You know what I'm saying? Let's try it. Mm. The saltiness and the crunchiness of the chip um, really works well with that. And it is quite a different experience than a burrito. I am disappointed by how small this is. I could eat, like, I wish it was maybe two or three times more, but, you know, it is what it is. Because it's so good. If it wasn't good, I'd be happy with this, but, no, this is really great. Mm. Mm, Dr. Pepper hitting the spot, too. You know, I was gonna eat this with a fork. I just planned on um, trying this out with the uh, with the chip like this. I don't think I even need the fork though, honestly. And you know, I gotta try out this sauce as well. Hmm. I love tortilla chips. Honestly, I would just be happy eating these plain, probably, but. Hey, dude. Veggie really doesn't like any kind of human food. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Mmm. I feel like this would be a decent little ASMR video with the, the crunchiness of the chips, but I didn't really plan on doing that today. Recently I did do that the uh, chicken, fr Korean fried chicken ASMR video. It was kind of polarizing. A lot of people <laughs> had comments about it, um, and it, I think it drew in a lot of people that didn't watch my videos originally. ASMR is a huge thing these days. I feel like. Mm. I'm gonna. This sauce is really good, by the way. I'm gonna just pour some over like that. 
And you know what? Might as well just pour some of this salsa over it as well. There we go. I love this kind of meal just uh, for many reasons. It's the flavor overall, but just the color and the presentation. It did come in a different uh, container, so I kind of made it look less pretty when I transferred it over to this bowl, but it's a really colorful food. You know what they say, you eat with your eyes first. So, if it looked like crap and still tastes good, and you know, I don't have a problem with that, <clears throat> but if it looked great and tasted good, then it would be even better, right? I don't know if you, any of you guys have cats, um, but Beiji has been acting a little bit weird lately. Maybe you guys have some info on this. As you can see, he's really kind of going to town, like cleaning himself, grooming himself. And he's been doing that for the last couple of days. <laughs> just going at it. Just running around the house and start grooming himself, then run like two feet and start grooming himself again. Personally, I don't think there's anything too much to worry about, but I haven't seen him do it before. So, I don't know. I have to keep an eye on that, but if any of you have like similar situations, then let me know. All right, so what could I talk about today? Well, something new that I've been doing that I didn't mention in the last video. It's really lame, but lately I have been playing a video game, <laughs> like a computer game. I downloaded it a couple days ago. And I think it might consume a lot of my time. Guild Wars 2. It's an MMORPG game. Kind of like World of Warcraft, I guess. And I have played it before. I played it maybe a year ago. For a little bit. But I didn't really get that into it. But lately, like I haven't played any like actual video games for a year. Since that time. And I've just been itching to play it. Just more of like a complicated game. Like I've been playing a lot of mobile games and stuff, but I've been looking for something more complicated. I've been playing for two days and like right now my highest level on the character is like, I don't know, 15. Because I just can't get, the character creation in this game is really nice and I just can't get past that stage. Like I'll make something... Like, ah, wait, I want to change this. Or that. Or I want to try out a different class or something. I only have two character slots because it is free to play. Um, with limitations, but anyway. Uh, so I've made remade characters like ten times already. I'm sure some of you gamers out there know what I'm talking about. But yeah, for me, video games like this are definitely, just video games in general are like a, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like a catch-22 almost, you know, like, my favorite type of video game is something like an MMO RPG, which is an online uh, game, if you didn't know. And you can create your own character, customize it, and just do all kinds of stuff. And it really doesn't have an end. You could play forever, essentially, but they take up a lot of time, or they can. That's my favorite type of video game. But at the same time, I want something that I can do casually. Uh, 
or I don't really want to get addicted to a game. <clears throat> but other games, like maybe shooting games or stuff like that, I just don't find them as fun. I just can't get into them. So the, a game that I can get into will suck my life away, maybe. So it's like all or nothing, you know, for me. I just like, I really like, uh, you know, customizing your character and just being able to walk around the world with like other people. You know, if you got cool like armor and stuff, you can show it off. Or, you know, I like to develop my skills and do PvP as well. That's probably my favorite part. So, but it takes a lot of practice and time. I don't know, maybe if they had like, so for example, a shooting game. I used to play some shooting games back in the day. But you just, you know, log in and you can play with other people, but you can't really like show off like what you work for, you know? Like you, as far as I know, you just kind of log in and then just start playing right away. The reason I like MMOs is because like, it's kind of like nerd status as well. But if you put a lot of work into getting like certain armor or gear, and then people will see like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if they had a, a, a shooting game that like was an MMO shooting game, like you could customize all your stuff. And then walk around in a world and then just enter matches and stuff. That might be pretty cool. Do they have something like that? I don't know. I've been kind of, you know, not really with it lately. Anyway. For all you guys who don't care about video games, my bad. <laughs> They should have at least given me the ratio where I could eat all these chips with all of this, you know, like how it would come out even. I always like to try to do that, no matter what I'm eating, if it's like a burger and fries. Or, well, usually like burger and fries, so <laughs> I'll try to pace it. So I'll have, <laughs> when I finish my last bite, I'll have like one bite of burger left and like one fry left. Does anyone else do that? So I'm probably gonna have to eat like 10 of these chips without this. <laughs> People throw around the word OCD a lot. I know for a fact I don't have OCD, but I do have like, sometimes I feel like, man, This is like so OCD, you know? This is some fresh salsa right here, I'll tell you what. The other night we made uh, burritos at my friend Steve's house. Steve stays on it with buying the ingredients. He's always got some decent ingredients at his house, which I never have. <clears throat> he's got kind of he's got a supermarket that has a lot of international food, uh, like right, literally, almost connected to his house. Basically, I would have to go like twenty minutes. When someone recently asked me, "Do I always drink a, a carbonated beverage when I eat?" And this is kind of interesting for me, probably not to anyone else, but you know what? I thought about it. I gave it a lot of thought and I realized that I didn't start drinking soda a lot until a year ago. When I was growing up, even when I was like moved out of the house on my own, 
I just never bought soda. If it was there for free, then I would drink it, but I never would buy it and drink it. And then out of nowhere, like literally out of nowhere, I just started going ham on it, going to town on it. Um, <laughs> and these days, yeah, if I don't have a, a soda while I'm eating, it's kind of like, ah, oh, man. I wish I had a soda, you know what I'm saying? Or just like a, a good beverage, it's not water. But soda, yeah, usually soda. I was thinking about possible reasons for that and I have no idea why, but yeah, these days, especially when I do like a mukbang video, if I don't have a, a soda, I'll run out to the store and get one. I think it does make for a, a little bit nicer of a, a video experience as well. Instead of just drinking water or something, you know. What do you guys think about that? I know it's not good for you. Empty calories, as my mom calls it, but... It is delicious. Yeah, these days, like, a couple of times in the past few months, I've drank a whole 2 liter, well, 1.5 liter in Korea, in just in one day. That, that's unheard of. Like, I would never... <laughs> Back in the day when my parents would buy me soda, which wasn't very often, a two liter would last days at our household. Last bite here. I was originally planning to uh, put this uh, burrito bowl into this bowl so you guys could see it better and thought it would be a better presentation, but I put it in here and it came up to like here. <laughs> it's like, man, I could really eat this whole full bowl because it's really, really good, but you live and learn. All right, well, that's about it for this video. I think I'm going to clean up and start editing and then maybe play that game for a while. Or maybe, actually, I'm going to play that game for a while and then edit. Anyway, before I cut this video off, I'm going to give a special shout out to Jackie and Kelly. Thank you for supporting my Patreon. And thank you to all of you guys who are supporting my Patreon. Um, just can't thank you enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I've never had a burrito bowl before. I think... I've never had a burrito bowl before. Quite nice if I do say my... So, so,